Hey guys, in case you didn't notice, we broke 1,000 subscribers. Wow, that's a lot of people, huh? Ever since I was a kid, I knew that I wanted to work in comedy. That was my dream, but I figured that I would probably end up working in writing. I never thought that I could actually be in front of a camera because my Tourette's. Because I'm like, I'm so, you guys probably see it all the time in our videos. I'm always twitching, looking at my hands. And when, I mean, when I watch it back, it's kind of cringy because to me, it's so obvious and like intense to look at. And I never thought that anyone would ever be able to look past that to actually like enjoy and watch my videos for the comedy purpose. We knew that we were passionate about it ever since the first god awful video we made called Chocolate. You may have heard the new report saying that hot chocolate is actually good for your health. And I got a bug from that first one. And ever since then, we didn't stop making videos. The thing that really stuck with me is what I was, I was trying for the first time. I had Tourette's, I was a freak. I was super uncomfortable in front of the camera, but I but I was trying. And Ela at the time, she wouldn't even she wouldn't even say anything behind the camera. Ela was <laughs> probably the shyest person on this planet. Yeah, anyone who who would know me from when I was young, if they know today that I'm in front of the camera and doing this stuff, they would be shocked. I was always the the shyest <laughs> person in class or everywhere. Like sometimes I would just get like choked up and I just, I couldn't talk. Mm. I just wouldn't be able to talk. If you looked at us back that you would say, <laughs> you guys stick with your day job because this is not happening. It's not happening. And the thing was, we didn't think it either, but we mm -hmm. just kept trying. We kept trying. And I'm not trying to sell any, any like bullshit about anyone can achieve anything. That's ridiculous. I don't believe that. The only thing that matters is that you try right so that you know in your heart when everything's said and done that you tried and you gave your best and you have that peace within yourself that's where this came from mm -hmm. we're at the point in our life where i was working a day job a desk job for five years and my boss at the time had offered to make me a partner in his business mm -hmm. and i was and at the time we were doing this as a hobby youtube i was really passionate about it but it, we weren't making any money from it and i was at this huge crossroad in my life do I go down this route of working in the office for the rest of my life? A nice job, a good job, a good paying job. And, and essentially just giving up on my dream of, of making comedy. So I went home and I thought about it for a week. So I went back to my boss and I says, sorry, I appreciate the offer and I love you. I'm gonna decline your offer and I'm also gonna quit my job. It was probably came as quite a shock to him because we worked really close together, but he's like, wait, what the hell? offered me a promotion and I quit, but it mm -hmm. stirred something in me where I realized this, I can't, I'm, I'm okay doing this for the rest of my life, but I need to take a year to try, just so I know. Yeah. And so I didn't know what was capable of, I didn't expect anything, but that year we went back and we started grinding and it led to here we are today. I never went back to work. This is the point that I'm trying to make is that you don't need to succeed. You don't need to become a millionaire, superstar, whatever it is, your big dream in life, right? You don't need to, and not everybody's going to, but for yourself, everyone should always try, mm -hmm. at least to fulfill that dream for themselves, and then know that they've, that they've made their best efforts and they can go on in life. I was expecting to fail, mm -hmm. to not make enough money to support us, and then I was gonna happily go back to work and say, hey, I gave it my best shot. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. And now we're sitting here at 4 million subscribers, which any any measure of of where we used to be, we succeeded. We <laughs> we succeeded, which is yeah. absolutely mind-bending. Yeah. I, looking back at our old videos, like all the furniture is falling apart. Yeah. Our apartment is such a mess, like we could never afford like a TV. And another wonderful part about this story for me is that people always say the internet is so cancerous and full of trolls and hateful mean people. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys accepted us for who we are. Like even watching our new videos now, I'm so twitchy and it's hard for me to watch it. But you guys don't even say shit. It gets millions of views and all the comments are just super nice and nobody even said, that worst is just like, what's wrong with his eyebrows? Which isn't mean, it's just a an, an inquiry for more information, which is completely fair. You looked past it. People don't even notice that shit. How supportive and amazing is that? That's not cancer. That's great. That what's the opposite of cancer? 
That's radiation uh. treatment. <laughs> you guys are straight treating me with radiation. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know. If you, I mean, even today, but also if you watch me in, the, in our first videos where I'm in it, I like, I sound like, I don't want to say the R word, <laughs> but I sound mentally challenged at, at times. <laughs> or like I'm on some medication or something is wrong with me. <laughs> Why? Like, because your accent? My accent or like, I don't know, I'm just kind of awkward. Why doesn't she open her mouth when she talks? <laughs> <laughs> Why does she look like a transgender skeleton Yeah. on drugs? Yeah. So, but still, like Ethan said, people are more accepting than... They watch. You're Ela they, Kleiner, yeah. dude. People love your ass. I feel like people don't even care about me anymore. It's all about the Ela Kleiners. Which is really shocking. It's like, it's overwhelming. That's my takeaway from this, is that just try. You don't have to succeed. You just have to try so you know. Give it your best effort so you know that you went out there into the world, shook your dick, and said, I'm out here. I'm trying it my fucking best. And when everything's said and done, when you go back to grinding your job like I was prepared to do for another 30 years and you retire, you'll know that back then, in your heyday, your best days of your life, you were out there trying something. Something weird and wild and shaking your dick. <laughs> right? You gotta find out what you're made of. Give it a fucking try. Success is, is just one effect of it. It's not, it doesn't matter if you succeed or not. It, it has nothing to do with it. It's about the trying, right? And then you find peace within yourself. The other huge part is just our fans. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Look past everything. And they've always been so supportive from the beginning. Our fans have been, I think, kind of unique. Kind yeah. of special. And one time after my dad saw me in our videos, he told me, you should take acting classes to mm -hmm. improve. Mm -hmm. And my mom said, no, they like her the way she is. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and I think that's really Cool. Even if we lose all of our subscribers and all of our views, no one ever watches us again. I hope that I can at least leave you with this nice message that we, these quirky ass weird Tourette's having nuts, came out here, tried our best, and we got somewhere from it. If I can leave you with one message, just, just get out there and try, you know? And people you'll find, they're, they're supportive, they're loving, they're better than you think, better than people give themselves yeah. credit for. People out there, they want to see you succeed. For all the haters and trolls out there, that's not even real, dude. Out there for us, it's just been love. Mm -hmm. Be seeing you next time. Papa Bless. Just, we're making a video blog here, just me and Hila here looking at the camera. And we're doing that because something a little bit special happened. We hit 50,000 subscribers. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. What's up? You're not getting <laughs> excited. An unoriginal. Hee <laughs> hee. Production. Baby crunch.